For years, the Red Lake Nation has been ravaged by drugs, suicides, and gang violence. Today, they brought those issues to light at the 10th Annual Drug and Gang Summit. Mary Keeler was there and has that story. I wish I had a magic wand to address, to fix this, but this, I can't do that. Red Lake Nation Tribal Chairman Daryl Seeky Sr. is distraught over the presence of drugs and gangs, as well as people committing suicide on the reservation. And today marked the start of the three-day annual summit to discuss these issues. We want to get as much information out to the public and to caregivers as we can. $400,000 worth of drugs were confiscated on tribal land in 2015 alone, and this summit provides a time for discussing possible solutions. If we were to um, all join together uh, with this fight against the alcohol, drugs, and gangs, um, we would have a better place. And as for the gangs, there are not as many, but that is still too much. We still have gang activity. It's obvious by the graffiti we see in our communities. This year's theme is coming together for the people, and it's brought in speakers from North and South Dakota, as well as Tennessee and Montana. They're really knowledgeable about the subjects that we want to talk about. And the theme of coming together is fitting in the eyes of the chairman. Trying to heal our membership that's infested with this uh, drugs that's being brought into our reservation. Organizers say it is never too late to turn things around. There's always hope, you know, no matter if you stumble along your life's path, there's always hope to get back on what we call the red road and live a good, healthy life. With newfound knowledge, the Red Lake Nation hopes they can move forward and provide a future that is drug and gang free for the next generation. In Red Lake, Mary Keeler, Lakeland News. And this afternoon at the summit, breakout sessions were held with local law enforcement officers from Red Lake. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.